got a pretty decent picture of it, so. They collected quite a few things. Daniel, is there anyone, any Run questions, away. anything fun, any jokes? Yeah, so I have a uh, joke from earlier. Ooh. So, let me pull it up. Why was the ocean so grumpy? It was a little salty. Salty, ah. it was salty. <laughs> well, actually, you'd be a little uh, upset too if you had crabs on your bottom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you had that for sure. Man, yeah. I know. Like salty, salty. We were so <laughs> close. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was a good one. Yeah, I remember somebody earlier today sent that in. I'm like, huh, that's a good one. So that I'll is a good one. Saving it for a perfect time. Uh -huh. Uh, you can go back to point three on your next move or whenever you want. Okay. There's only a little bit that was steep. So, question of the night. What's everybody's favorite part about our expedition so far? That's tough. Hmm. I say for me, it's getting to see the sunsets at night. Oh, in the one. evenings. That's always special. Um, I want to say the f the feeling of relief I get at the end of our four a.m. shifts, because <laughs> that feels pretty good. <laughs> um, but no, um, I guess just meal times, you know, sitting with people, eating, learning more about each other. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Getting more than four hours of sleep at a time. <laughs> 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 Working on the sit reps, yeah, that's... Actually, when I do the sit reps, it's kind of fun because I go back through the dive report from the previous dive and I usually miss a lot of mm. stuff and then it's my chance to like catch up on yep. what, what they did actually you know right yeah my bad I blanked out um <laughs> I would say the dives like just being able to dive and then see like what different things we see even if it's on, like on our watch or someone else's watch Another bamboo or permnoid, likely a permnoid unstalked, but Quick zoom there if you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And a Ritagorgia. I think it's. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Magnus Spiralis, but it's kind of not in good health as it looks like it has some zoanthids or something going on. Yeah. And possibly a new one growing off of it, a limb? Like near the top there. Um, what is that? Where are you looking? Uh, one of the branches in the very top. Very top. I'll try to zoom for you. 
Oh. It's like there's a little baby. The little, the little baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. There's something S Super new. fine little baby hairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we got good enough here. That's cool. Yeah. Probably just a little zoanthid that took over that optimal tip of the coral. Peak current flow. Another primnoid. We've kind of been seeing these not sparsely branched ones, but um, go ahead and zoom. Less branched than we're used to with primnoids. What do we have for? Um, yep. No niskins, huh? Yeah, we have no niskins. They Couple say. Slurps. Um, yeah. Three um. No, that's a bamboo. Sorry. They said the Niskins. There wasn't like. There are very clear any like uh, biodiversity patches or um, anything yeah. worth yeah. taking. And the polyps Niskins. are a bit different, um, but all right, we're good here. Thank you. But yeah, we yeah. have oh, what? some slurps. Um, the starboard box is basically full except for one, and we got two push cores. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's been dense enough coral Not for communities for Niskins, nope. eDNA. Shadow or sea cucumber? It's a shadow. And then a beautiful shrimpy over there. Oh yeah, a big one. Mm -hmm. Good catch. Um, crinoid on that rock. Unstalked. Bless you. Two sneezes. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. Did we finish the um, what's your favorite part of the expedition question? I think it's still open. Another mm -hmm. another crinoid to the left. Take it away, Cheyenne. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> staying up a bit. What's oh. this little thing under the rock? Can you see oh, that? Yeah, I yeah. saw oh, yeah, that. Yep. Sorry. Good eye. It's about all that pops out at you. I know. Oh, go ahead and zoom. Probably land here, actually. It's too low. Yeah. Uh, for me to... Do you want to stop with a sponge? Baby sponge. No, no it's okay. okay. It's going to be quick. Go ahead and zoom. Um, yeah, it's a sponge. Oh, it looks like a little flower. Aww. It does look like a flower. Um, it's... Uh, Is it stalled? It's a stalled? It's... I forget its name. Um, well, it's just a little tiny one. Yeah, it's a little one. I think we're good whenever you want right. to move. It's a real steep little bit here, so I'm just going to yeah. plow forward for yeah. a minute. Yeah. Did you see Pull the like, little sea flea type and thing? Start coming up. Yeah. Mm, just real slow. What do you think that was? So it's a euplectelid. Um, the little um, 
sea flea. Just oh, the, the like, sea. It looked like a little bug almost. It was kind of translucent. Oh, uh, right where was it? it was oh, right above. Right mm -hmm. above. Oh, I didn't. Was it like flying by? Uh, no, it was crawling around in the. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. I can't quite see it in the still cam picture I took. But if it was a little bug thing, it could have been like a copepod oh, or okay. an isopod. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, it doesn't look quite like Sacrocalyx. Um, I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't because there's no... I don't really see a central osculum at, in the at the top, but that's what it looks most close to. But I would just say stalk to plug tell it. Really kind of barren, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean. There could be a whole bunch of things that we're just not it's seeing. A really steep little bit here. Yeah, Ooh. this suit might be interesting. This white thing, right? Come there. on, give us something. Interesting formation, huh? Wow. Yeah, this is neat. Look here, if you're able. I think it's just a crinoid. Just quick zoom. Sure. Looks um, like a crinoid. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Two of them. Perfect. All right, we're good. All right. Thank you. How could you tell that was a crinoid versus, say, a brittle star? Versus a, a, a brittle star, you said? Yeah. So uh, crinoids are, oh, let's look at this really quick if you're able. I don't know if you're able, though. Not really. OK. Nope. All good. Um, Sorry. No, it's OK. So crinoids are, crinoids and brittle stars are both echinoderms, but crinoids are a whole up, different, on a whole different family. Um, what feature about that in particular? Okay. Yeah, so uh, crinoids have arms that are kind of feather, like they look like they're feathery, while brittle stars... That's the end of it there, I think. Okay. Um, brittle stars have usually only like five arms, and they're either spiky or... Well, okay, ophiroids either have spiky arms or not spiky arms, which actually differentiates them into um, two further clades. So they look quite different, but they both have that central disc. Um, and very clear features that make them uh, echinoderms. But it's in quite the structure. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, what do you make it this weight? <laughs> yeah, it seems more um, like pillow basalts, you know, volcanic material. The sides were just sort of smoothed over and uh, you couldn't really see the structure like you can here mm -hmm. but it is all still very encrusted and there's still no megafauna to be found yeah oh, but I don't see any uh, like I don't see any layering or uh, and right as I say that there was a primnoid Ooh, that's another crazy gorget to the left two Oh, it's I all missed good. it all together. Um, yeah, Go ahead, that zoom. big one in the center. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the one that we saw the other night that we haven't really seen on past dives. Um, I need to look up the name, but let me get a picture first. Okay. Okay, we can zoom out if you want. So the one to the left kind of looks more like... Um, oh, do you want that one too? Oh, no, it's okay. You can keep going. Right. I think I know what that one is, and I got a picture of it. Just talking out loud for IDs. Um, 
that one that we just passed, like the big one, kind of looks more like um, a Bluto. We saw that for the first time. Well, I saw that for the first time on my watch. Um, I think two nights ago. Then the other one kind of looked more like Crisis or Stellata, not sure. Oh, getting towards the crest of this Ooh. ridge feature. Yeah. Are these alive? You want to zoom on any of these? They, Yeah, sure. Let's just zoom on the one that's central. Go ahead. So I think these are more bamboo. Been, uh, nope. They are. Predated on. I yeah, guess. they're like dying. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are bamboo. You can kind of see the the bands in. Oh, those are two different stalks. Okay. Um, where are you referring to? The dead. The there's a live animal and then a dead. dead oh one. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're looking at right now are the coral polyps of the bamboo coral. Um, and then can we look to the left a bit, like right on the same coral, but to those sticky outy. Zoanthids, I think. Or maybe hydrozoans. Oh, yeah. Hydrozoans are colonizing the bottom part of it. And then, actually, there's, like, a little, like, hole here. If we're able. Kind of looks like something in it, but I know we can't really get The hole get in the rock? It. Yeah, oh. seems <laughs> like right there. Like there's something in there something hiding in there, but like it's kind of difficult to see inside. But cool stuff. I think we're good here. Okay. Thanks. Full wide. Just two bamboo corals hanging out with some uh, zoanthids. Nope, hydrozoans. Leaving that feature here now. Yeah. Back on to just the yeah. plain slope. Some more yellow unstalked crinoids too. Can't really tell what more than that. But we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that feature wasn't really visible in the bathymetry map at all. Another so Argus still has a big wall. Oh, something down there, but that was, I think it was a dead sponge. Looks a little murky. Yeah, we're a bit, um, yeah. Ooh. So is this the top of it that we're trying to go to? Yeah. Well, all right, come down. Is a bit. this like the top of yeah. it that we're yes, trying to go is, to? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Coming down. Another slope here. Mm. We're about 800 meters to the top of the seamount. Maybe we'll make it to the top this watch. That'd be fun. Can we look at this one right here? Oh, that is really hard to see. <laughs> oh my gosh, it like yeah, disappeared. Yeah, barely there. You want the big one in the back? Um, No, we're good. Just this, oh God, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's right there. It's so hard to see. 
the one in the back is another Aritagorgia. I think Go ahead it's and Bella this time, but I can't quite see. Yeah, and then another barely hanging on to life Chrysogorgid. Huh. It's really not like these Chrysogorgids that we're seeing are like super not dense. They don't seem real healthy either. <laughs> no. Sadly. Um. I think this is another Abluto. We're good here, thank you. So now it's a different branching pattern, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Or... There's another big uh, Rudicorgia. That's, no, yeah, that's actually not a blue dose. Um, yeah, just Chrysogorgid. Because it's so sparse, I can't tell. And then... We're starting to see more... An Aritagorgia. Yeah. Diversity, though. Mm-hmm. A little ledge on the 20 meter mark. Maybe, oh, it might just be a Metallogorgia. Um, let me see. No, I don't like that either. I'll just leave it at Chrysogorgid. And wow. Okay, another Aritagorgia magnus spiralis. Another crinoid. Okay. Seeing some more dominant players, it seems. And then a big old primnoid in the back. Temperature came up from like 0 0.1 degree C, so that's oh, wow. maybe that's a difference too we're seeing. Okay. Yeah, so corals like to be in 2 to 3 degrees Celsius, so this is more in the range, I guess. Maybe. Um, nope, that's sediment. All these yellow crinoids, too. Fun. Ooh. Something big coming up. Oh, another bamboo. Okay. You want to cool. zoom? Yeah. Uh, we're good. Bamboo isn't interesting enough anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor bamboo. <laughs> Out of style now. <laughs> care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Too many. Man. I think we've gotten... Loopy, have we gotten a, a sample of bamboo, right? I think we did on our previous watch. Um, yeah, we had got a pink bamboo, and then it seems like um, on Chris's watch, they got a, another one. It just says okay. bamboo, so I don't know like, okay. if it's the same. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. All right, just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Oh, theirs might have been the same, like a pink one, looking at the okay. description. Oh, yeah, because we collected a really, really pink one. Yeah. There right. Is, well, theirs is pink polyps. Um, okay. Looks like they got a worm associated with it. Okay. Yeah, the one we collected had, like, pink polyps and, like, pink, I forget what it's called, but, like, a pink central attachment yeah. <laughs> stock branch it was actually ours was unbranched we've been seeing a lot of like white or like light pink light yellow mm -hmm. animals yeah. yeah i mean we saw those really deep purple sea cucumbers oh yeah they were yeah. huge yeah, they're so oh those cute. are so cool the chunky it's cucumbers. so dark
So why do we see many organisms with those prevailing colors? Is it like a adaptation to help with camouflage or something? Um, yeah, somewhat. So, I mean, you can't see longer wavelengths in the deep ocean. I mean, deep, deeper depths. Um, so past a certain a certain depth, you like certain colors start cutting out. So it's harder to see those organisms. So that's why like the shrimp that we see are bright red. They're like invisible. If there was any sort of light down there, um, you wouldn't be able to, s or yeah, you wouldn't be able to see them without light. Um, yeah, they would kind of just be like gray, colorless. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a, it's an adaptation thing. Sometimes it's a what they're eating thing. It all depends on the, on the organism. Looks like there's a, there was like a, an enemy thing that we just passed that I just noticed way too late. <laughs> I'm not seeing this stuff at all. I know. <laughs> it's like you take one look away and oh, you miss there's, it. Oh, there's something. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What are you? Sea cucumber. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've Ooh. seen a few of these this mm -hmm. dive. They're big. Mm-hmm. Thank you manifested that, Cheyenne. Yeah. <laughs> this one looks Go different Go ahead color. and zoom. This one doesn't have the spikes on it. No. This one's more normal. Yeah. Quote, unquote. Oh. No, it is spiky. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Little spikes. Don't know what those spikes are for. They're not, they're not anti-defense. Um, probably sensory. But... Okay, I think we're good. Thank you. And full wide. Always love looking at them. These yellow things we see here and there, mm -hmm. um, the crinoids, I guess. Yep. Unstocked. Unstocked, yeah. Can you reposition that? It's yeah. somewhere in there. Uh loopy, I'm gonna put in the name for the I'm I'm being loopy now. Huh? What you're putting it in the chat? Oh, I'm just putting the name for the sea cucumber in the chat. It's a synelacted. Do you mind spelling that for me? I'm just going to put yeah. a little note. Yeah, S-Y-N-A-L-L-A-C-T-I-D. Got it. Oh, I'm just realizing she's not there. Wow. All right. <laughs> Gone for not forgotten. <laughs> So I have a question for the uh, ROV team. Go ahead. Are there any sensors on the ROV to help avoid hitting rocks, or is it just pilot experience? <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> it's just the pilot. No <laughs> bumpers? It can be witnessed by all the hitting of rocks. <laughs> um, no, we don't have anything like that. I don't, I'm not, I don't know anybody uh, that does. Like AUVs avoid. have yeah. all, all that all day long, and aerial drones, right? Yeah. Obstacle avoidance sonar. Yeah. And, yeah. We do have our sonars that yes. you see up oh, there, yeah. right? So we can see well on, well ahead of us. 
but here it's pretty obvious the rock's right in front of us. Oh. No, well, we're it's still not the top, but like it's, it's local, like a little flat part, little, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, look at all those crinoids on that dead stalk. Okay, we have some nutrient flow. <laughs> no zoom oh, there's needed, a bunch on the ledge there. Yeah, must be good eating over there. Yeah, the buffet. It looks like they're pretending to be a coral. <laughs> 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 Or even sunflowers. Ooh, something coming up. Something. Oh, actually, yeah, let's look at uh, an Aridicorgia. Oh, gorgia. you want something over here. Yeah, let's look at Ooh. that. But OK, Which an Aridicorgia. Which one are you after? Here. OK. Aridicorgia magnus viralis, another one. What is this squishy thing? It's not squishy. Just more hey, go ahead and zoom. No, that looks like a umbellopathies kind of, but like really not dense. <laughs> um, That's yeah. Sad. That's a black coral. Okay. All right, we're good here. Thank you. That that coral's not doing too hot. It's trying its best. It is. It all is right. trying oh its I best. It's got all those hydrozoans on it or whatever. Yeah. That looks like an umbellopathies, which is something I don't know if they've seen on this dive yet. So that's neat. Come up. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, an enemy? a tube an enemy, yeah. An enemy. Something yeah, else there. Another, there. another yeah. real steep little bit. Mm -hmm. That was a stop. Um, if we're on. blown by too much stuff, you could go to point two. Mm -hmm. Up to you. I mean, unless we some yeah, see something I'd, really cool, I'd say on the fine. steep area, we should slow it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, like it's all cucumber. intermittent, but cucumber. generally, like, mm -hmm. yeah, zoom on one thing and then we got to blow by ten things, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. Alright, point two, yes? Please. Another Caliphacus, it looks like we passed by. Cool. I always wonder how many like crevices are filled with cephalopods that we aren't seeing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, man, so close yet so far. It does make you wonder or being right there at the right time to see one hatch. I know. Oh my god, that would be wild. Um, can we look here if able? Sponge of some sort, maybe. Oh, um, a star. Go ahead, zoom. What is that? A sponge. A weird looking sponge. Um, okay. Looks like a pirate tag. Yeah, let me get one more picture and then I think we're good. I don't know what that is. Okay, cool, we're good. All Thank right. you. So what? Let's see if I can. Come on up. I'm gonna do some looking. had like two cups to it, it looked like. Not literal cups, like, um, but two like concavities back to back, which is interesting. But I would just, 
say glass sponge, I guess. It was so small. Do we have the like collection li wish list anywhere, or is that just more informal? We used to have a printout of it and okay. disappeared. Do you have it in your stuff, Loopy? Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. Okay. Wow, still really kind of barren on this rock face. <laughs> yeah, as we got away from that ledge, oh, everything was like, all right. I know, I'm almost enough. regretting not trying to stay on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. More interesting. We'll take more, a look at this. More bamboo. Coral, you want to look at the coral? If, if you want to, Dwight. Yeah. It's another. Something yeah. to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Something mm -hmm. to fill the. Space. Go ahead and zoom. Bamboo. Yeah, I I'm always love the pretty the, uh, pink polyps. Mm -hmm. We have some nicely branched ones um, here. This one looks like it's. Uh, I can't quite see. I think it's nodal. All right. Oh. We're good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, full wide. So I have a question about the still cams. Mm -hmm. Is the time frame on the still cams different from like the time frame that is showing like the that we typically go by, like the... Do you mean like... Um, the time's the same. By time like frame, do you UTC? mean like... Oh. Um, I don't... No, it should be the same. Because this... So this is operating on... You want to um, see the sponge? Oh, yes, please. Go ahead okay. and zoom. For instance, like, you see how you have, like, the picture and it says 2.57 a.m.? Oh, it is different. Yeah. Wait, that's weird. Actually, that's odd. Oh, this is an interesting sponge. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm just noticing that discrepancy. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, it looks like it has some associates inside. I wonder where it's getting Take that clock from because the computer is right. saying the right time. I think I have a good yeah, enough that's picture. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. All right, cool. Cool. Thank you. good catch, Loopy. Uh, yeah, somebody's well, got to flag that for Lilo when she processes. Well, that's, that's kind of like why I noticed it today, because I was um, yeah, doing the vid caps and last dive um, for dive 61, we couldn't use like the main camera since it had that smudge mm. and stuff. And so the we used still time cam. were completely different. And when I went in there, I was like, well, I can't find any of the pictures because it's like not the right time. Huh. But it was like, it was the right pictures. It was just the times were different. Yeah. So I had to like, quick each one to try to like <laughs> get an idea of like where it's at. That's funny because when I looked in the um, e either the processed folder or the raw folder, I can't remember, I I, I looked at a still cam image the other day from a, the same time as a still as a capture and I thought it was the same time. Yeah, I mean, I never even noticed that. Ooh, stalked crinoid. Okay. Um, I never even noticed that because the like the time on the PC is standard time, but however it's uploading is not, which is really weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can, I can look at it. Well, it's yeah, from the camera's it's internal yeah. time and date setting, right? Yeah. It must be, yeah, right. Actually, so if it's, if it's metadata associated with the picture, it's not from the computer, I would yeah. say so. Right, right. I just assumed they were. All and the that same. might be an issue where 
you have to put like a little battery inside the camera that yeah. kind of runs constantly to keep that sync with the time. Because mm. if it's not in there, then it'll just turn off and then Go reset the time. Go ahead and zoom. Mm. Ooh, okay. Interesting. All right, so it looks like dead sponge with a caliphacus next to it. And um, actually, I, there's a coral to the upper left that I'd much rather go to it looks new. Ooh. Just getting into okay, some go ahead new stuff quickly. Yeah. Yeah, this can be quick. This looks like hemicorallium. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. No, right. it's whatever's happening Thank is you. when it gets We're backed good? up it goes to the right time. Because mm. this 70, like 703, is here now, and it says 1059. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. So, I guess it's it looks okay to me. I don't know why it says that. Another heavy maybe crawling? gets maybe gets corrected somehow when it gets pulled over to the file server. Yeah. Well, if you have the if the camera time is off, the metadata would hold that. But when it prints when it puts the file on the server, then the, then you have the comp the data from that, right? Like the data is created or modified or whatever. Yes. Oh. Big dead yeah. call. Well, I forget. I thought it was an R sync, which should just move it. Uh, I mean, uh, sync it. That's an interesting cool. point. Though. You want to zoom? Sure. Yeah, we can do a quick one. Go ahead. Uh, I can't remember which species has the, or which um, family has the name of gold coral, but. Oh wait, actually, those are polyps. That's really bright. Um, are they just retracted or what? Okay, wait, this might be interesting. Um, one moment. Is there a chance we might sample this? I think um, it's a bamboo. I. We could do that's a. That's a uh, really bright bamboo. Um, maybe. Why don't you stop that, the ship yeah. just in case? Stop, and we'll, we'll have to back it up and all that. Ah, uh, okay. Did uh, you mention the coralliferous jelly that's there? No, no I one. did not. Is uh, this an, one in the foreground a different animal than the... Uh, I thought it was one thing. Let me just back, just come out on the zoom a little. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the ship moving forward. Yeah, it's all the okay. same. Um, I... I've nev I haven't seen a coral like this yet, we unless it's just a, um, dead and I'm silly. Zoom. We have a couple open slurps. You could do a try to do a quick snip and slurp. I honestly, slurp. it might just be dead because I don't see any polyps out. <laughs> um, so I'm no. inclined to say that it's really. I oh, it's so hard. Um, Brittle star. Yeah, bamboo, I'm inclined though, to say, right? yeah, it's bamboo. Okay, yeah, it's all right. We can move on. Don't want any? Uh, okay, let's take it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> we saw the ship, let's take it. <laughs> Pull wide, please. What do we have open? Or just Slurps. slurp is okay? All right. So, like, what kind of piece do you want? So, like, um, any, any one or? I mean, a, a good amount. It doesn't have to be any certain branch, but, like, 10 centimeters so like maybe if you can, can I go off this one that's out by itself or I yeah, can get sure. like be like this much of it or okay. actually is that 10 centimeters I can't even tell that's m <laughs> more than 10 centimeters but um, if yeah, it has like to go up the slurp though you'd be better off not having those branches you're right so you um, might want to just get that one little piece that's like hanging uh, maybe right here. Or just oh, one. Or just yeah. one actually, branch. actually, sorry. Right here. See that branch? Yep. Um, if you can do that. Gonna have to wait for Atalanta to start coming back. Uh, but sure. that one. Or I can yeah, look for other. Kind of. 
me see. Kind of get amongst it to get that. <laughs> there's also, it looks like there's some right in front of you, like on the still cam, if you can see it. Those are close. What about yeah. that one to the left there? Yeah. Can we that increase speed to point three knots? Um, that yes, should be yes. enough material. Is there like any way that we can take like, you know, like that whole part of it, or you think it'll get caught? I it, yeah, I could see it getting stuck somewhere. Okay. Sure. All right then. Yeah, if you can just do like the tip of that branch, okay. that'd be great. Ooh. Thank you. Just kind of get away from it for a minute till Atlanta comes back. Sure. Oh, it's been sampled. Uh, well. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, what sample jar would it go in? Um, three. Okay, that's what's there. This should be bringing you back away from that, though. So we have some questions coming into the chat, mm -hmm. and they're asking about why is, like, why is this part of the ocean so barren compared to other coral reefs that we've seen? Is it because of low nutrient density, or something else, or the currents? Um, yeah, it could be like a combination of things, and I mean, it's it's barren to us because we just can't see stuff, but there's probably a lot of things around here that we're just not seeing in our little little frame um but i mean it generally this area that we've been looking at is not too barren like it's getting denser um you're generally not going to see like super high density um anywhere in the deep sea i guess maybe you could, there's some exceptions like lophelia um like meadows i guess you would call them but generally it's a it's a mixture of like what's the current like what's the marine snow that's floating down what's the quality how's competition are things able to successfully um, propagate where they're settling it's a ton of different factors and still being still being investigated so that's why we're here we don't really know what drives um, you know, certain species to be dominant and certain ones to be not. And even like some dives we saw a huge density of sponges with like little to no corals. And some we saw lots of corals, little to no sponges. And we don't really know what drives that. So it's all about um, exploring more and seeing more and yeah. Here's something I'm kind of curious about. Mm -hmm. How come we don't find any seahorses down here? Seahorses? Yeah. <laughs> um, seahorses are in shallow water. <laughs> ah, so um, it's too deep, too cold for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about turtles? Why don't we see those here? Nope. Same thing? Yep. 
They need sun. So turtles are, wait, well, okay. I think I might get this wrong, turtle enthusiasts. Don't get me wrong. I mean, don't, don't kill me, but I'm pretty sure turtles are at least omnivores. So they need, you know, they eat plants and plants need sun. Therefore, no deep sea turtle. Not that I've ever seen. Yeah, that'd be cool though. <laughs> That wasn't too bad, moving the ship back, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite there yet. <laughs> Sorry. No, I know, but it um, was worse when there was 3,000 meters of cable out. Yeah, um, and it looks like there might be, so like this branch here, it looks like, I can't, I kind of saw it on the still cam, but that like, the branch that's splitting off kind of looks small. Do you think that would get stuck? I don't know if you can see it on still cam. Yeah, I mean, a little anything. Okay. You're muted. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're if, good. If you have a little thing on there like that, it can. Okay. I'm, and you're actually, welcome to try it, but um, yeah, I'm realizing there's actually a huge one right here that's unbranched. Well, if you get a bigger, oh, wait. if you get a bigger piece, you could put it in a Box. in a. Uh, uh, yeah, with bins, we uh, can it go in a bin? Um, um, uh, our bins are really full. So I mean, we're we're starting to double up at this point. Yeah, which is not great um, for we sequencing. Have, I don't know how large of a rock we have in F, but bridge. I mean, there's possible room in there, maybe. And F is how big again? It's one of them bike. It's one of the big boxes with okay. the E. But it says like a large rock, so that's what I'm saying. Depending um, on how large. As long as there's no other know, coral in there, if it's only yeah. a rock, it's probably okay. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Then you can have as much as you like. <laughs> <laughs> then Either that uh, or like a sponge. Then get a branch. Get actually, a branching pair. Okay, actually, this branch looks pretty big, so maybe let's slurp like that much, if you're able. Okay, Sorry. just a slurp now. Yes. Okay. Because I want to, if we find anything else that's, you know, can't be slurped, I want to reserve that just in case. Because this looks, you know. This is my first big girl sample. I feel so I feel like a scientist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pick your... So we also had a question from the chat from mm -hmm. uh, somebody from the UK who was asking about uh, any interesting sea creatures that live in and around the British Isles. Do we know about any of that? Great question. I don't know. <laughs> um, sea creatures? Sea creatures of the deep. I've actually been looking some up because I was curious myself. So, yeah. Like the Kraken? <laughs> It wasn't this one, was it? Wish. Um, that, mm -hmm. the yeah, one that the you're kind of, right there yeah, you, that's it good. It could be that one. This one, yeah. Keeps bouncing around, but I uh, think just as much as you can get of that. So unstable, like, where are you going? Long part. It's also on the still cam right now, so I can confirm. Wow, that's <laughs> real special. <laughs> you and your auto, you have your auto. That was on? the auto. That, that was, was the auto. Dead stick is going to be better than that. Wow. Too rocky, I guess. Okay, and just a straight piece, and it's going into slurp. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, as much of it as you can get, but.
too. That's all right. The more, the merrier. Oh. Ew. Yeah, really, I mean, it, it can be really any branch that you can grab onto as well. Whatever makes it easier. Absurd. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> wait. That is like so gotta, all um, over the place. Yeah, you gotta wait for a heave down or something. <laughs> or if it's easier, if you just want to take a big sample and we just put it in the box, that's fine. Just gonna go for this one more time here. Just do this actually. It's not that high. Oh my God. really fighting you here. Uh, it's been terrible all night. There's something wrong with the hydraulics. He's turned oh, too many things right, on and it's, right. you get no flow and it's just... Even as we came up, yeah, I see it's not any better. Um, if, I mean, yeah, if you, m like, can set down those lower branches. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I didn't want to do it at first because I th actually thought that that would be easier. Right. Instead of having to have all this down thrust on yeah. to stay down. <laughs> Looks like a really nice long branch anyway, so. Something like that long? See in the pilot yep. camera there? Mm hmm That's should be good. Woohoo! Yay! And it's going in the slurp. Yes. Okay. Okay, suction on. Suction on. Go to 50% first? Sure. Okay. Yeah, 50. Ooh. Doesn't look like it's doing uh, it. Huh? No, I'll turn it up. There we go. Oh. Nice. That was nice. at 70. Oh, he's in there. That's it. Great work. Painful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Real special. Well, it's really we special for respect. your first time, Sarah. Wow. <laughs> sample. Just wanted to be difficult, but I mean, luckily there won't be many more if oh, it's stuck. Any, so. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Should be proud. I'm going to start moving the ship. Fair warning. Yeah, go ahead. It's going to take a while for us to get moving again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. We get to explore this. We can, right, we can look around. <laughs> Is it okay if I turn suction? Dare we flush? say yeah, noodle it. around? Oh. Noodle. <laughs> That does anything. There we go. I just mm -hmm. have it on 50 right now. And yep, Steve, good. Steve okay. is helping me out in the chat. All right. um, that yeah, bamboo I'll coral the is the S1 clade. Actually, that, really? co that color is characteristic Excellent. of that clade. And don't ask me why they named it S1. 
That's like its official name. It's not, okay, so like official but unofficial because usually they use like, you know, weird number letter systems um, when they're still figuring things out, how like, how they want to split genuses and stuff. All right, um, coming up a little bit. So do they do the Latin name after they figure it out then? Yeah, so like they'll usually need to do more uh, genetic sequencing. So like that's a great example of why that sample was good because this clade needs, well this specific, um, yeah, this clade needs more sequencing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they kind of just use, they take more samples, Look, they I'll do more put sequencing. Your we are camera ba -ba. and then they name it hopefully cool well i there hope we this go. sample helps mm -hmm. helps with the new science all around the world yeah yep speaking yeah, of the world the we have there. people tuning in from all over like or See, a we have on the somebody there. from sri lanka <gasps> turning in hey oh, cool. so welcome aboard I mean, this includes Japan, no, Indonesia, right. Brazil, Spain, Portugal, Romania, South Africa, and our English-speaking countries, the UK, Australia, and the United States, and Denmark. So welcome right aboard. Right where the lasers are. No. Like right around there. Oh, well. oh yeah. And the dark thing there by the lasers. Oh, I see. I think it's just a rock. That's oh. a rock. A shiny rock. Rock or urchin. <laughs> uh, Once again. Go ahead and zoom. It's so shiny. Yeah. Shiny. Just hope for something. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Uh huh. It's yeah. okay. I did it like right, a wide. million times. <laughs> do we want to do a rock sample here by any chance? Well, Dwight just left, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's coming yeah. back. But I'm not sure if these I, rocks are loose enough. I think he still wants to wait until we get yeah. back okay. to the top of the summit. Because um, we only have like one last place for a good rock sample. Yeah. <laughs> so they want to make sure it's a good one. <laughs> well, yep. Last time I saw something like dark like that was that guy we slurped up accidentally <laughs> earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ooh, what's that? Oh, and the other part that I forgot about deep sea corals is that you really like, you can kind of go off of like characteristics for, you know, doing like the big differences. Like, you know, bamboo versus like primnoid, like bamboos have that very clear dark band that, um, you know, in their in their skeleton. But when you start to get like in the family and you're trying to differentiate within the family, it gets really, really hard and things start to get fuzzy. So um, you, you need that sequencing to really figure out what's different and what's not. And even then it's super hard. There's lots of corals that are under debate for whether they're actually different or they're the same or not. Many deep sea corals. So. Another bamboo it looks like to our, in front of us, which we've been seeing a lot of. Yeah. You zoom if you like, but it's going to be bouncy. That's fine. We're still getting moving, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we are. We're moving. Yeah. We've already <laughs> gone 33 meters. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> um, quick update for our viewers at home. We are about 7 eighths to the top of the seamount. Um, the seamount's kind of long, like a mountain range. And we're just shy of 2,000 meters. Um, we have about 500 meters to the top, so we should get there in the next couple hours. You're doing a slow crawl up there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how fast could you run 500 meters? <laughs> Rocks. <laughs> Well, I have literally no concept of distance or measurement, so I have no idea. Oh, come on. You're a scientist. You have to know, like, what an inch is compared I know, to it's a like, centimeter. I know. <laughs> like, I know, I know all the, like, the, you know, 
the calculations, but oh, okay, 500 meters is about 30.3 miles. Um, I don't know. I was always a slow mile runner, so <laughs> I would give 500 myself. 500 meters? Yeah. In terms of miles? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said like three miles. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's nothing. I would give myself. That's mm. like a lap around a track and then like yeah. do like 100 meters. I would give myself three minutes. <laughs> that's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Up. Uh. <laughs> Look. Not to go out to the track and see how fast you are. I guess the real question is, is how fast can you climb up a mountain? That is a good question. And not just yeah. climb, like, climb, like scramble. Cause scramble <laughs> up a mountain. Yeah, yeah. Like Spider-Man. <laughs> can you climb up a mountain faster than Hercules? I think that's just a dead thing, but why not? I think there's something next to it anyways. Hey, zoom in. Um, yeah, it's a dead thing. <laughs> there's something above it. Oh, there's something to the left of it. Um, if we can look at this. Oh, that was such a bad arrow. <laughs> um, it's like a crinoid? Baby Great question. Crinoid. Ooh, there's like a little worm. There's a little worm. A worm. That's a swimmer. It's so tiny. So small. It looks like a feather. It does. Um, I don't know what that is. Yep, I don't know. Um, thanks for the zoom. Full wide, please. All right, good. Some small, I think that's kind of what we saw before. Some maybe, maybe an enemy. Oh, Crinoid City over here. You want to zoom? Oh, sure, why not? I Go think ahead. we went from what, Sponge City to something city oh. to Crinoid City? We, yeah. we called it something else. It was like Crinoid Avenue or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crinoid Avenue. <laughs> Can't wait for Shell yeah, City. Yeah, Alley, Alley. There oh, it is. Oh, yeah, Alley. Shell City. Shell City. Ooh, and a C pen. Um, if we're able to uh, look a, a bit to the left. On my oh yeah, a rock pen. That looks like a. Um, can't quite tell. I want to say anthoptilid. Ah, no, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks. Full wide, please. Would it be bad to poke one of the crinoids? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Wait, to what? I'm sorry. It to was poke like one, one of the crinoids? No. Yes, we'll maybe watch it swim again. <laughs> Generally, do we want to disturb things? No, but also I love seeing the move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's science. You just gotta poke it, see what it does. I mean, study, study how it moves. It's important. Yeah, I think that was an anthoptilid. I'll put that in the chat. That's the ID for the rock pin? Yes. Got it. Oh, cucumber. cucumber! Go ahead and zoom. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to stop and appreciate the sea cucumber. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now this is something I would love to poke to see, like, just get up. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a show. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Get so freaked out that you have to swim away. Swim away. And um, I was thinking about it. Oh, look. Thinking, Stinky. but. All right, full wide. Come on up on yep. Atlanta there. I'm gonna Looks very similar to the other one we saw.
When they do get spooked, is it because they Similar hear or feel the sound from the ROV or like the current that comes from us moving around? I mean, probably a million things, you know. Um, yeah, the ROV's loud, it's vibrating a lot. Um, it's bright. There's, it's bright. Um, the, Ooh, yeah, the change that. in and it disperses current. <laughs> All right, Atlantis is moving again. Woohoo! It only took 90 meters. <laughs> <laughs> Another bamboo. I'm seeing a lot of bamboo. So now that we're moving, do we want to do point 0.3 or point 0.2 knots? Is this a me question? Uh, we've been doing point two for the long for the last while. Yep. If it's starting to open up, I mean, you can do point three, but we can barely, you know, you can't you can't really mm -hmm. stop very much. Oh shoot, my twos on my paper look like threes. All right, I'll I'll switch it to point two knots for now. Uh, let me know if it gets too slow. You want to zoom there? Uh, mm, no. Nah. Like, no, it's fine. <laughs> Sounds like a no. <laughs> Boring bamboo. <laughs> when you have to hesitate, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Been there, seen that. Next. I want to see the top. Four hundred and sixty-seven meters to go. Ah. <laughs> Do you think we'll get there? Um, I think I think we will at, by the end of this watch. You if just we, passed if we an crank urchin. it up a little bit, maybe just full oh, speed. No, just good. Climbing the mountain. <laughs> we could cheat and go to a, a, a closer. <laughs> uh, That's true. Like you see the um, there's like two holes. Yeah. This guy. We could go to the top of that guy. Mhm. Mm which actually makes more sense, honestly the local high. Yeah, I can switch to and this And then we guy. can let Brian's watch take him to the other other end, yeah. yeah. All right. So then we'll definitely get there. Is there a reason why it's like 5A and 5B? Like, was it just like, uh, we're gonna get to four and then just decide it, which way? Yeah, we're <laughs> but it, it, it's up to us. Yeah, okay. How, what we wanna do, it was, it was um, because we weren't sure exactly how well the ship could move. Mm. So it was giving us, gi it. giving us those options, <laughs> two options. So um, we're going to change directions to 220. It'll get us a little more vertical to the, s or um, mm -hmm. orthogonal to the slope. Roger. Yeah. 220. All right. Just a
Oh, um, do we have time to look at that? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and zoom. I think it's a sea cucumber again, but just wanted to make sure. Yep. Look Very full it. sea cucumber. Oh, well. We so can see its full. insides. <laughs> All right. We're good. Okay, Thank full you. wide. Yeah, and a little, little ophiroid. I think those are, I want to say that those are like dead and just like in the rock. Because we've seen a bunch of those, like even on rock samples, and they're just kind of like on the rock skeleton. Be Does anything cool eat sea cucumbers? Sea cucumbers? Yeah. Uh, yes. Fish, maybe? Uh, Other sea cucumbers? Other sea cucumbers. Other sea cucumbers. <laughs> As to why <laughs> some are bigger than others. Cannibal yeah. sea cucumber. Cool. There's a pretty thing, maybe. Metallic gorgia? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we can just do quick on this one. Go ahead. Ooh. Ah. I love these. It looks like... Um, it reminds me of pop rocks. I don't know why. They remind me of like uh, cherry blossom trees for some reason. All right. Yeah. So doing research, it seems like crabs, fish, turtles, and even some species of sharks eat. Eat sea cucumbers. Oh, cool. Oh, I've never seen one like. All right. With nibbles on it. <laughs> <laughs> nibbles. <laughs> We're good. Thank you. Okay, full well, wide. If, you, if you saw nibbles, then you would see it like. <laughs> Maybe it heals itself really quickly. As I was gonna say, yeah. it wouldn't. Yeah, you would. It would be a gross scene. <laughs> it wouldn't look good. The sea cucumber guts all over the place. Yeah, literally everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, sea cucumber would be a good food because they're so slow like, <sighs> and they're everywhere. Yeah. Be Come up so on the winch. No challenge to catch it. <laughs> I was thinking about that, like the way they slowly take off and try and escape. Like, who are they running from? Like, they're not gonna make I it. mean, they obviously have core muscles because they were doing. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> those, uh, yeah, they definitely do those ab crunches. <laughs> yeah. uh, get off the ground. Yeah. Pilates are no match for a sea cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> So speaking of fascinating sea creatures, we have mm -hmm. a question to ask. Uh, what's the fastest fish? And so I looked this up. And Isn't it's it the barracuda or something? Tuna, maybe. Oh. It's actually the Indo-Pacific sailfish that many oh, consider. Look at that fin. Yep, and it's really big. So it can uh, swim at an excess of 110 kilometers per hour or 68 miles per hour over short distances. Wow. That's, That's wild. That's pretty fast. It's faster than the flying fish that we've been seeing. Um, that looks like a Chad fish. Like it just gives Chad vibes. <laughs> like that fin is just outrageous. Yeah, like the um. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Let me see. What's it called? Oh my gosh, my fish anatomy. Dorsal fin. The dorsal spines. Or dorsal spines. Those are outrageous. Looks like Elvis's hair or something. Yeah, it looks like the hair from an anime character or something. <laughs> but, hey, it has to make it fast. Yep. Gotta go fast. <clears throat> so here's an interesting question. How many sea creatures are named after vegetables? <laughs> we already have sea cucumber. Is there a sea tomato somewhere? Some <laughs> off to the right in the pilot cam. Um, if there was, I don't know, I guess if there was like a, an orangish red oh, wow. urchin, I could see that being like a, like a pin cushion, you know? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Tomato pin cushion. <laughs> um, Maybe otherwise? if you find a green crinoid, you can call it a sea lettuce. <laughs> I don't know. Um. I'll have to think about that.
We'll wait for you. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with this new direction, we're 250 meters from the top. Well, that should only take an hour. Yeah. Depending on how much sample taking we want to do. Well, we're limited, so we probably won't do much. Yeah. <laughs> we're kind of full. Not going to lie. We're really... We're packed. We want to get a rock, but we're going to wait till we're up on top for that. Yes. Take a look at this. Sure. Go ahead and zoom. All right, Loopy. Sarah's not here. I'll see what you can do here. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's definitely purple. I would say the purple always gives me Victor Gorgia vibes. When they, um... We have a lifeline to Steve Oscovich. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. That's the only purple one I know, too. Yeah, yeah me too. That. I must say, that's the only one I know is the Victor Gorgia that's purple. <laughs> Steve, you care to help me out? Good. Sound, sounds like a good guest to me. Ah, Victor see, Gorgia. Sarah came in and said, Victor yep, Gorgia, I was right. I got she it. She beat you, too. <laughs> Good job, Loopy. Full I'm wide. learning. Great work. I'm so proud. And I know how to spell it. Yes. <laughs> What's this? A crinoid? Yeah, yeah. Another stocked crinoid. Sorry, I was, I almost screamed in the bathroom because the one faucet, when I turned it, it was like a deep yellow. Um, yeah. Hot water. Yeah? That's kind of a normal color. <laughs> really? I've never seen that before. Yeah. I was what? like scrubbing our bathroom sink today and rinsing it and it was like yellow water coming out. <laughs> I'm like, damn, no. <laughs> but the but it was the right faucet, like the right knob. Yep. That's hot water? Mm -hmm. And the left one's cold? It depends on what sink you're at. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am literally, Lots I've used that. little surprises. I've used that sink so many times. Wow. Anyways. I think first time seeing no, Richard Gorgia yeah. this dive. So always full of surprises here on Nautilus. You never quite know what you're going to get. <laughs> Another Chrysogorgid. Stellata. Uh, or geniculata, I can really see. Or stellata or crisis.
Oh, here's a pretty big fan. Oh, yeah. Okay, who are you? Ooh, from Noah? On Zoom? Sure. Go ahead, video. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it was 168. Um, sorry, looks I didn't like it to check. Me. To, um, I don't know. Remind you. To um, actually, it looks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm having a moment, but those polyps look bamboo-y no to me, me but the branching looks primnoa -y. Please hold. Actually, you don't have to hold. We can keep moving. I got a picture. Really nice picture there. Okay, full wide. Oh, look at that little uh, star. Oh, there's a little star? Yeah, yeah then there's oh, the, yeah? the bubblegum so looking one to the oh, side. Oh, it's so tiny. Bubble oh, gum. yeah. Go ahead and it's zoom. Little sea star. Zoom in and hits. A slime star. Oh, slime star. Almost looks like an urchin. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah, this one's so small. Oh my gosh. So precious. Yep. Looks like a gusher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does. Okay. Wow. It does. <laughs> We're good. Okay, full wide. Would you eat it though? No. I'm and then kidding. did you see the other coral that was that kind of. I did. Bubble gummy one. Yeah, yeah. I think that was hemichorallium. Yeah, it's right. Yes. It was the more solid one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good catch. Um. I'm thinking as we get closer to the top, we'll see more and more diversity. Woohoo! Nice. Yeah, so I'm inclined to say that that last one was. Oh, let me look at the. Yeah, that's bamboo very clearly. Sorry, I just saw a band. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be stepping away for about half an hour. I have an interaction to do. And I'll be turning over the SPL to you all. Oh, wow. 2 a.m. interaction night. Yep. It's already 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. boy, 2 a.m. Whoa. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Um, another Chrysogorgid we just passed. Oh, oh, oh. Cups. Ah, Chana Cups. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. look at you. What is this? Chana Cops. I'll like take it. Like a partial zoom. Oh, oh, my gosh. Not too much. It's coming, coming toward us. This hey. is going to be my most favorite thing. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. Going fast. Oh, yeah, it is wow. very fast. Whoa, 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 I've whoa. I've never seen one move that fast. We're really right. spooking it. Get Go tired. Back. Get tired. Lay down. Oh. Get tired. Lay down. <laughs> Go sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see your feet. <laughs> or your fins. Sorry, they're not feet. They. It is cool to watch them come in for you? a landing. Gosh. Oh. Oh. Crash oh. first. Whoa. He's that like, I meant to do oh. this. <laughs> I meant to. Oh my gosh. His little oh fins are like. Oh I don't know. It has like a face of a duck. Yeah. <laughs> of a duck? Yeah. Like. I don't know, like the... Oh my god, look at that! He's gonna get his feet out. <laughs> <laughs> it's my oh. favorite. This is my favorite moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is so oh. cute! Oh my gosh. Where's Daniel to make a highlight? <laughs> oh yeah, I can... Yeah, you're gonna do it. I can do it. Uh. We, I can put it in the art log for him. I was about to say, I don't even know how to... I just submitted it. I don't know what I meant. I don't know what I did, but... Uh, under SCF. There's a highlight oh, yeah. tag. I think I did it. All right. And you give it a rating. Bye, Chana Five. <laughs> no, don't do five. Don't do five. That's like whales, apparently. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> five, ago, five. It, five it goes and sends like emails and stuff. Oh, to, like, really? people, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Daniel already made that mistake to a poopy CQ. <laughs> as soon as I walk away, I knew I was. Not a five. <laughs> Crying. I know. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Not a five. <laughs> five triggers like the <laughs> interweb police. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like as soon as you send a five, everyone gets emails like, oh, something major happened. And then mm. they got an email of just a pooping oh. sea cucumber <laughs> dancing out the frame. Worth it.
<laughs> Who gave that a five? <laughs> Daniel TBD. I'm logged in as guest, so they won't know who it there. is. <laughs> <laughs> they will never know. Unless they're watching the live stream. Oh. Yeah, and hear my voice. <laughs> Shauna cups are so funny because, oh, another sea cucumber. Um, and also, um, I think the white balance is a little off. Oh. Yeah, the exposure. Iris. Beautiful. I was just doing some checks over here, and I put oh, it on you're auto. Good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. No worries. Oh, let's look at this. No, no, no. Go uh, ahead and zoom. What is that to the left of it? That's one. The Shaisanikovs remind me of like a balloon. Like they're just like blown up balloon animals. Okay. Oh, this looks yeah. like a paramaricid. First of the dive, I think. I don't know, though. These baby brittle stars find baby corals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or maybe, yeah, that looks, um, hold on. Plexerid? Uh, Paramaricid, yes. That's the new name for it. Oh. Well, let me just check something. Um, I think we're good based on pictures. Actually, can we look to the left? There was, like, something that yeah. was yeah. really oh, looked like a shell. Lightish. Yeah. Yeah, that gun. I think it's just the dead deflated base of something but say, yeah like somebody just flattened it it's got a go ahead and zoom on it yeah i think you're right mm -hmm. it was a sponge All right. stock or something yep. broke off whatever it is it's gone thank you okay full wide yeah there's like a sea star in the hole there uh, like the ones that are like skeletonized into the rock, or like a yeah, it was like like a very thin, thin sea star. Yeah. The ship's moving in this direction, okay, Cheyenne? Uh, yes. Good. Ship has been good. Oh wow. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, that's not on. Wow. Just take a dive. <laughs> Woohoo. As I was going to say, I can barely. So, the map that you're reading, Cheyenne, like the the blocks mean depth. The, the blocky oh, pixels are in. like the false shading that they put on it. Okay. To indicate um, slope. Or, uh, oh gosh, shadow. what's the best way of doing this? Um, this is tough. Well, this me looking all back in the video like these people can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I look back like to see like the classroom <laughs> or so. Consider it a blessing. <laughs> what? Uh, what is all this? stuff are we able to turn around at all or no you want to turn around just, just to look to at the see what's on the yeah. slope yeah at least to a side wasn't too big of a oh yeah we're barely over it drop yeah. off yeah <laughs> do you want to stop the ship uh, no, it's all right. We can no. keep going. Just wanted to see if there was anything different, but looks like everything is the same. So we can keep going. When you look at the little map, it looks like we're so close, but then when you tell us, like, how many meters, it's like we're so far. <laughs> One hundred and seventy-eight meters to go. <laughs> hey, it's an improvement. Right, we're yeah. making progress. Yes. What's the last move? Point two knots. Uh, yes. Well, that's three hundred and sixty meters in an hour. So, we do like to not quite go that fast. Got to look at some stuff. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh. Wow. Whoa. That's 
rock. Whoa, what do oh, we have fish. here, little buddy? Let's take a look at the fish, please. Mm -hmm. Holosaur, maybe? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. It's very or some white. kind of eel. No. Go ahead and zoom. Don't go away. That's good there. Yep. Um, not a halosaur. It looks like a macrorid. And we're good. Come on. Thank you. Pretty white one, though. Okay, there we go. But let me just check. Um, this rock area looks like asphalt. Yeah. Hmm. And now it's like hard up here. Okay. Uh, wow, McCurd, I misspoke. Sorry, it fitted. Uh, not yet. Hold on. Is that a. That's not another well. Bone, Look up with it? the camera. Um, That looks like a dead sponge. Yeah. I think. Mm, dead forayed. With the little spike things? Looking? Yeah, it looked like a spine. Yeah. yeah. Because it had a it had a base, so not inclined to say bone. I still can't believe we found like legitimate bone. <laughs> <laughs> that blows my mind. What's the latest thinking on what that was? I have no idea. Okay, this looks like a fish. I'm just saying that sediment spot looks like a fish. It's not a real fish, but <laughs> do you guys see it? Okay, I see it. I see it. I see, I that, see one. that one. Okay, thank yeah. you. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I just had to point it out. But like a cartoon fish. Cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, like what you see on the, the goldfish yeah. crackers. Yeah, I was just going to say the goldfish cracker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, another Eritogorgia magnus spiralis. There we go. Um, a couple different if things. we can look at this. Another paramarisid at the top. Ooh, Go ahead ah. and zoom. Uh, squat lobster inside? Yep. Hey, buddy. Um, can't quite tell what type of crazy gorge it is, but good enough zoom, thank you. Hey, full wide, come up, Sarah. I'm worried about that ledge there. Uh, bamboo and a primnoid, unstocked primnoid. Sorry, Loopy, I'm going fast. I know you're fine. Whoa, big bamboo to the right. But we can catch up. How about these rocks? I know we don't need a sample, but if we needed a sample, man. They look like they'd be easy to get, but they're not <laughs> that you never know. attractive. But are they worthy of our last spot? <laughs> yeah. There was a um, another S1 bamboo that we passed. Another forayed or other sponge skeleton. Some fish to the left. Um, an umbalula right there. Ooh, another Is fish over there. Cusk eel or something. Mm hmm. Um, can't quite tell. Kind of looks thick. So I want to say O-fitted, but I don't know. Coming up on more corals to the right. Another Ritagorgia. Unstocked crinoid. Okay, we're getting somewhere, folks. Yeah. Uh, a 
rock pen. All right, I'm coming up a bit. Another Chrysler Gorget, another Paramarisid. Can we zoom on this or no? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and zoom. Kind of looks like a an urchin. It's like a another patch? footing from a. Oh yeah, another dead something. Okay, cool. Never mind. Thank you. Come back up. Four. Twenty meter mark. Something spiky to the left of it. Couldn't quite see what. Oh. Big fan to the right. If we're able to oh go yeah. look uh, that way. Not really. That's all right. Sucks. It's okay. Well, we can I slow the ship down. I, we're well, it's just, all right. I think yeah, it's booking um, up there, you know, and it's starting to get good. So maybe we should ooh. slow it down a notch. Yep. Sure. Halosaur. We're probably still not going to get a good image of this one, but that's okay. Go ahead and zoom. Good enough. Um, another bamboo, actually, just kidding. The one we've been seeing this whole time. But it's huge, which is neat. All right, I'm going to leave it then. If it's just another Sounds old good. bamboo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just another old one. Another. Well, we old have been news. seeing, yeah, we have been seeing different ones for sure. Whoa, that's a tall one. Um, we've been seeing all different types. Um. Hey, fish. Another fish. Oh, there's two. Um, but primarily bamboo and primnoid and chrysogorgids in these areas. But I still don't quite see a chance for a niskin. It's oh, not. Yeah. We could do one anyway. Yeah. It can't hurt. Yeah. When we, I think when we get up this yeah. slope, All right, we'll it's clearing out a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty flattened out here now. <laughs> yeah. After yep. this little bit. Yeah, there might have been a couple opportunities before, but I think I think when we get up this slope, it'll be a bit. Yeah, and you uh, can you more. slow the ship down to point one or something? Just um, yeah, it stopped right now, but we okay. can do. Okay, that's fine. We can do point one. So that's that'll be really slow, but yeah. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Check this stuff out. Huge. Yep. Here we go. Huge fans. Man, I just ate my words. Seeing a bunch of coral here. This might be... <laughs> I don't think we can stop, but okay. Good sign. Seemed like before uh -huh. we saw more coral on the slope just before you get to the top area. Mm -hmm. Does that sound accurate? Oh, wow. Sorry, Amber, say that again. Wow. Uh, it seemed like in previous dives, we would see a higher density of coral when it was on a, a kind of the ledge yeah. like this versus definitely. when you get to oh, the wow. top. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's huge. I just ate it, my words. There's also look at all uh, this. Good, f good flow here. They like the steeper right. slopes um how do we uh, michael how this. do you feel about taking a nisk in here oh uh, yeah we should be able to do that yeah oh, this would be good <laughs> but it's good to know if there's an overhang or something up above us yeah. and usually the sonar can see that yeah it's deceptively like steep here yeah and also, Atalanta can't really move away from the rocks, so if the boat tows, tows her into the rocks, there's nothing she can do except go up, so. Mm -hmm. Wow, I thought we'd see more at this depth. Okay, there's always three hours from now. Um, another bamboo. 
seen Ooh. a lot of these. Do you want to zoom? Sure, we'll do a little one. Go ahead. For fun. Oh, and actually there's a sponge to the lift. Um, yep, bamboo. That Cut. one really looks like bamboo. Yeah. You can really see it. Fly trap anemone. Yeah, yeah, and some other associates. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, look at those bands. Those so are really pronounced. Yeah, right? One. No mistaking that. True bamboo. And then can we pan to the left a little bit? Yeah. Well, why? there's a little sponge. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something on that rock, too. Can't quite tell what it is, but something with projections. Oh, it's a... Sponge. Brittle star, I think. Uh, go ahead and zoom. And then this is a Calophagus. Oh, it's going to get bumpy for a minute. There you go. I don't know how many of these they've seen on the dive, but Calophagus sponge. Looks like a mushroom. All right. And we're Can gonna we look underneath where you're yeah, in this like little, little hole cavern. here? Yeah. It looks like uh, <laughs> something interesting in there. Something. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, Maybe not. You gotta be lower. Um, yeah, it's tough. There's something reddish in there. Uh, I got a little flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. Nice. Oh uh, yeah. Woohoo! Um, actually, I think that might just be rock. I don't know. Probably a whole bunch of stuff in there. That's really cool. Just different oh, there's a little lobster coloring on the rock, lobster I guess. type thing. Maybe, Spot yeah. Lobster. Right, and it looks like there's some projections along the side that could be some worms. Oh. But Seems aside like from that... a good that? spot for an octopus, but we haven't seen yeah. hardly oh, any. Oh, stop. Don't say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a few sightings, right? What One or two. are you? Uh, uh, I haven't uh, seen any of this. Uh, no, I haven't either. Uh, I think, I think there was one, that? and it was all curled up. Yeah, this looks like it's... Um, all right, Not full wide rock. We uh, gotta go. Yeah. Looks like something. Thanks for that. Coming up. Pretty wild formation here. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Atalanta's got quite a cliff. I know. Yep. It's yep. really just straight up. Reminds me of those wildly steep, like sedimentary uh, cliffs that we saw that one dive. Oh yeah. How steep those were. Those just like sheer rock things. Yeah. What's our depth now? Twenty. 2089. And what's the depth at the. Oh, it's in the dive plan. The depth of the summit mm -hmm. is. 1866. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not far away. No, it's not really, is it? Mm -mm. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, the, this work. I think our watch started mm. around 24 or 22 something. 21 or 22. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. All right. It's a, uh, we got three hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think we'll make it. I think so. Well, what do the other watches do? You got dive scheduled till 10 a.m. tomorrow, right? Well, or just maybe it'll be 8 a.m. Is that work? It depends on what's nope. up on the summit here and if it's yeah. worth spending more than a f couple hours. But, you know, we need another hour and a half or two to recover. So mm -hmm. if we stay down till 6.30, we can be up by 8 or something like that. Didn't our last watch, we, like, didn't cover much ground? <laughs> it was pretty slow. Yeah, everyone it was, was like, well, we faster. did nothing. I know, I know. <laughs> I feel like it kept being brought up. Like, you have meters. only...
yeah. covered like <laughs> maybe one hour in the last four hours. It got a very slow start. That's yeah. why and I thought we are here, on time. And now we're here. You're welcome. <laughs> There was so much stuff that we like missed in the beginning. Like I think I saw like a flatfish or a batfish. Um, oh no! A bunch oh, of tuna fish. kids. Really? Yeah, yeah. There was something like there was like a flat something. <laughs> um, like right in the beginning, but I didn't want to interrupt. So I mean, there was stuff down there. There was. Oh yeah, we had yeah. that purple thing that we got and the gold yeah. the yellow urchin. That was cool. Mm hmm. So. Well, yeah. Sorry, we're we're about uh, 685 meters to the top. That'll take a couple hours. Can we actually look at one of these crinoids? I keep seeing them everywhere. Uh, yeah. Is there a chance you might want to sample them? Um. Or no. Go ahead and zoom. I don't. I mean, I don't think so. I don't really know what people want. Um. But I I think we have some feather stars already. Yeah. Okay. So this is likely. Oh gosh, I can't tell. Yeah. So these are unstalked. They can move around. I think we're good with zoom. Thanks. Try an ID through this picture. I'm so glad we got to see one like swim. That was, was really That neat. was awesome. <laughs> that was lovely. I got the highlight of that, but I have yeah. to see it. Big dead sponge stalk. So many dead sponge stalks. What happened? Yeah, there's a couple things those crinoids could be. Ah. But. I think another sack of calyx we just passed. Actually, can we look at this if it's not too late? Sorry. It's like this really thin looking something. Tough to see. Go ahead and zoom. I think it's Umbalula. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> um. Yeah. That is pretty strange, isn't That's it? That's cool. Looks wow. like a yeah. an enemy kind of, no? Yeah, so it's a sea pen. Um, it looks like Umbalula, but it looks different. Um, okay. I think we're good. All right, full wide. That's cool. We've been seeing a bunch of different... Um, I guess what we can only assume, like I know on our last watch we saw one of those that was kind of in the sediment, but we couldn't quite <laughs> get it. But that looked more like a heteropolybus uh, mushroom coral. That one was very clearly a, a blue, yeah. But doesn't look like any, oh wait, actually, can you scroll up? I think it's that, yeah, it's just a blue. Mm -hmm. Take forever to load for some reason. I know it's it's hard with pictures. The thumbnails are fine. Yeah. Yep. It's that. 
I don't know how many of those. No, we've seen a couple of those. Overall, looking bare for megafauna. So, I have a question. Mm hmm. What's that little screen that's right there? It looks yellowish from here. Uh, screen where? Oh, I was talking to Amber. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm oh, late. sorry. Say it again. Uh, what's that little screen that's right there? This? Oh, yeah. that's to help me with my focus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just curious. Shrimp. So, shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> what were you saying, Daniel? Oh, I was just going to tell everybody who's watching that Too if shrimp. you Too have shrimp. any questions, you can put them in the chat on our website and we'll be here to answer them live. Woohoo! And one of the questions is what time is it uh, while we are out here, while we're diving? It's currently 12.55 Hawaii oh. Standard Time. Woohoo! I think we just passed a sponge of something, but I literally saw it for a split second and still cam, so it's okay. Oh, Amber, can I get the still cam up in that little, the little gauge on there? Can do. Um, what is that? Oh. So Go ahead hard and zoom. To see. Is it just rock? We only got a split second here. We gotta go. That's okay. There's all these little steep sections. Uh, that's Blends in. Oh, it's another, it's a rock pen. Okay. Um, I can, uh, okay, I think I got a picture. We're good, thank you. Yeah, that actually up. looks like the one that. Uh, there's not much to it, but yeah, yeah it'll okay. be gone in a minute. Okay, it'll is that the one people it? want? Oh man, I think that might be the one Steve wants. Do you, you want to try to get back? That? Uh, let me just confirm. I don't. Well, it's all right. If there's a chance, I'll go ahead and stop the shit. Well, actually, I doubt we can get back to it. I was about to say the picture. Really to the picture didn't even take, okay. so it's okay. <laughs> okay. But well, I'll be on the lookout now because that looked really similar. So I wish there was a way know. like we can zoom in on these pictures. I have it. <laughs> oh, actually, mm. I find is this the coral to see? Too. This is steeper here, yeah. Very yeah. steep. Whatever, al like uh, algorithm use they're using with the GIS thing is not doesn't seem very appropriate. It's like totally smooth constantly. Yeah, it's not it's picking the, it like up. The interpolation technique is not the best no. one, I don't think. I don't remember it being like that in the past. Every map that I've seen on this expedition, they're all perfectly uniform like that. Yeah. We have a little chat with our mapping coordinator to see if there's a better way to do it. This this stuff is looks cool. Looks there. rocky. Just the way the rocks are. <laughs> yeah, this is different. So is this kind of the top, or no? 